The Colorado Rockies hosting the Washington Nationals, and the Rockies are minus 160 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 140. The over-under is 10 and a half runs. Now, the Nationals getting a run and a half are minus 145, meaning if they lose the game by one or win the game outright, you'd win. The Rockies laying a run and a half are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win the game by two. Now, Fetty did pitch once against the Rockies last year. One inning, one run, one earned. They lost that game 10 to 5. So it is what it is there. Marquez pitched twice against the Nationals. Both of those games were this year. He pitched on April 20th. Six innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 9 to 6. Three and two thirds, seven runs, four earned, and they lost that game 10 to 3. So not a very good showing for him, especially against the Nationals. Head to head, though, the Rockies are on a two game winning streak. The Rockies are 5-5 five and five in their past 10. The Rockies were 5-2 and two against the Nationals in the last season. The team getting and laying runs is 5-5, five and five, and the under is 6-4. and four. I'm going to take Colorado with the money line. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that they'll win, especially because they have a winning streak going against the Nationals. I will take Washington with the runs, and I am going to go under the 10.5. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. The ball hasn't been really flying out of the park in Colorado. This could be the game or this could be the week where all of that starts to change because we've been seeing a lot of more games go over. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.